Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've just purchased the Flow um, paper book for food lovers. When I actually purchased this book I thought it was the normal paper lover book that the Flow um, brings out as special editions. But when I realised it was food lovers I wasn't too disappointed because it's got some really cute stationery aside. And I've been hunting this book down for two years now and I finally have my hands on it. Um, I got it from a stationery store called Journals. I've actually done a little vlog on my studio vlog number two so that video should be out soon if you want to go see me pick up the book and a little studio I'm um, sorry not a studio a stationary tour around the store um, when I was in this shop I also saw that they had a little gallery upstairs so they had a stationary gallery um, where I've also got some footage in my studio vlog number two and they've had these beautiful notebooks made by Australian artists so this one I am not strange, I am just not normal. Um, and I thought this was beautiful. This actually was a book that stood out to me because I'm studying this um, artist at the moment, the one who wrote this quote, um, Salvador Dali. They also got this beautiful Australian journal, which I really want to gift to one of you guys because it is Australian. Um, Anyone who's subscribed to my channel, please pop in the comment section if you would like this book um, and I will gift it to someone, so a little mini giveaway. Um, I thought it's really nice to give something to anyone who just wants um, an Australian journal, really high quality and made from an Australian artist. So I will be gifting this one. So yeah, I'll have some information in the description section about the um, giveaway, but basically just let me know in the comments if you would want it um, and I'll gift some stationery as well as this journal. Um, I also got this one. I loved it because it's space theme. I'll show you the whole picture. I'm gonna have to rip this. Eh. Look how cute. Um, and I've got a little note from the artist. It said that they were all screen printed I'm pretty sure. Um, and as you can see it's really high quality art paper inside. So I'm really keen to use these ones. I'm not sure yet how or what I'm going to put in them. I don't know what kind of journals I want to use these ones as. Um, but yeah, I just love supporting um, Australian artists. I also just got this local guide <laughs> to Paddington. Um, but this video is going to be the flip through, so let's get started. So this was the first time me going through this book. I actually haven't flipped through it yet. So if I squeal a little bit in this video, it's just because I'm very excited. Apologies in advance. So the first page is actually a little um, blank page where I'm guessing I could rip out and use as like letter writing page. Um, we've got just a little intro about flow, little ad. Alrighty, so what's this? So I think this is just a little like to-do list, like dishes, what I need. I don't know what I'm going to do with these pages. I probably won't use them as what it says. I might put a bit of washi tape over these and actually just use these as mail tags or something. Oh, cute! Recipe cards. I love that. I've actually been experimenting with a lot of new recipes so I can add my pork belly onto these. Oh, I can make a little box as well and put all these in. Oh, cute. We've got little name tags. So if I have any, any dinner parties. <laughs> um, what are these? Oh, stars. So you can make, um, you pop out all the stars and then you put it on top of a cake and then you sprinkle. Oh, these are really cool. I'm going to be baking a lot after this video. I'm actually going to have a picnic on Sunday, so this will actually be perfect. I'm going to probably use these ones on top of envelopes, like mail art. This is so sweet. What are these? I think they're just... These aren't like stickers or anything, you can't pop these ones out. Oh, this is cute. Um, so I think that's just letter writing. Like I could use it as letter writing paper, but I think they're cards. I think you fold these over. Oh, I love these ones. Dinner's on me, come over for a meal.
let me treat you. The sushi is really adorable. We've got our first envelope. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys can see that well, but it is just an outline that I'll have to cut out. It's not a pop out one. And then it's even got the um, spot where you can put someone's name at the front. We've got our second envelope. Our third envelope. I'm loving these colors. I adore the sushi ones. I'm going to be using these ones so much. <gasps> We've got stickers! Homemade for you, baked with love. I can definitely use these for a lot of different things. <gasps> love this one. This is definitely my style and aesthetic. These are cute, baked with love. Oh, I'm going to have to do some baking. Ooh, so we've got some things that you can pull out. What is this? Oh, it's lots of pretty paper. Oh, yes. Look what we have. We've got teacups. And we've got sushi. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is so pretty. I love packaging as well, like a food packaging. I've got a whole book that I've been collecting pretty food packaging. I'll show you once it's complete one day. I actually think I showed you in one of my journal flip throughs. Am I gonna be able to get this back in? I don't think I folded this right. Ah, ah. Okay, squish. Oh, I missed a whole chunk. Where do we finish? Here we are. So these are goodie bags. <gasps> I love the designs on these ones. Look how pretty these ones are for you. I could wrap up some cute tea and send it in the mail. Oh, these are really adorable. Picnic themes would be, this would be perfect for picnic themes, snail mail. I'm also gonna use a lot of these in my journals, I think, especially this style. Oh, the beautiful little teacup. Love these stickers. <gasps> I'm definitely going to do a journal spread with these ones as well. Little teacups. Oh. Can you hear it in my voice how much I'm loving this? <laughs> oh, these are little gift bags. They open up. That's such a good idea and they fold flat so you can actually gift them as well, but probably going to keep them and probably going to store some stationery inside. This is cooler than I think the Kiki K Play Paper Lovers book because it's got things that pop out. What is this? What is this? This is really cool. Oh my god. These are cool pages. They even give you the color palettes at the bottom here. This would be a really good idea if you were like, what color palette snail mail should I make today? And then you flip through here and you're like, these are cool palettes. See, that's sick. I love this. Oh my God, my favorite. <laughs> okay, today is for Slow cooking, dinner for two, takeout, leftovers, or your own one. How cool is that? I might put that in my kitchen. Me and Dan can spin it each night. Oh, these are really beautiful. Um, like botanical designs. What is this? There's so many pop out things. Oh, it's a cute little book, like a little, it's just all block colors as well. Oh my God, this is the make your own section where you get to make all your little furniture. Yes, I saw this in another one and I was 
super jealous because I couldn't make it and now they're giving you your own. What's it going to look like? Oh, that is sick. That's going up in my craft room. All right, some more pretty paper. Oh no, my camera's going to die. And then we've got some just like long pieces of paper. So I think this is for, I have no idea. Well, we know what it's for. It's for crafting with. <laughs> These are so cool. <gasps> Loving this page. I think it's another little pop-up thing that you put inside, what, on in a cap or something? I'm definitely making that. Loving all these DIY projects. And that is the end. I'll show you what is in uh, this last one, if I can get it out. Well, that was tight. What is this? So it's some more pretty paper. Oh, I don't know if this was meant to be a book and I've just like opened it up wrong. So how to's. <gasps> I'm gonna frame this one. Oh, that is so beautiful. This is my new style. Everything's just gonna be. <laughs> I thought I'd be I like a little bit disappointed that it was a paper lovers book, but when I, I mean a food lovers, but when I opened it up, I was like. These prints are cool. I'm gonna have to find a frame now. I think like a timber frame around this one. I'm gonna have to go op shopping and see if I can find a cool timber frame. Love that. I think this has to be my favorite thing in my stationery collection at the moment. <laughs> I can't wait to start using it. Let me know what you think in the description box below um, and I'll show you some DIY ideas. Um, as I said, you can get them if you're um, living in Sydney from journals. Um, other than that, you can see if it's cheaper to ship to your, um, your own country um, because I know that shipping to Australia was quite expensive, but I'm very, very excited to start using it. Thanks for watching this video today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.